Welcome to Stock Market Briefing. The content of the briefing includes. The fate of this consumer watchdog is in the hands of the Supreme Court. The search for $50 million lost after blockchain global's crypto exchange collapse. Insolite CFO to step down to join 3M's healthcare business. Dow's 2023 gains wiped out as bond yields rise. Supreme Court majority seems skeptical of challenge to consumer watchdog. The fate of this consumer watchdog is in the hands of the Supreme Court. CNN. The U.S. Supreme Court is hearing oral arguments in a case that will determine the fate of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, CFPB. A trade group representing payday lenders, the Community Financial Services Association of America, brought the case, which challenges the constitutionality of the CFPB's funding structure. The Supreme Court's decision, expected in spring 2024, could shut down the agency and invalidate all its prior rulings, with far-reaching implications for other government agencies not funded by Congress. The search for $50 million lost after blockchain global's crypto exchange collapse. ABC. The liquidator of Australian cryptocurrency exchange ACX.io has reported one former and two current directors to the corporate watchdog ASIC for potential breaches of the Corporations Act. The collapse of the exchange has left over $50 million Australian dollars, $35 million, owed to creditors. Liquidator Andrew Yeo from Pitcher Partners has recommended that ASIC investigate director Sam Lee, Zijing Ryan Su and former director Liang Alangua for potential breaches of the act. Yeo found that investor funds were mixed with company funds and used for personal spending, such as paying down home loans, without the knowledge of customers. He expects creditor claims to exceed 50 million Australian dollars. Insolite CFO to step down to join 3M's healthcare business. Reuters. Insolite Corp announced that its chief financial officer, CFO, Wade McMillan, will be stepping down to join 3M's healthcare business as CFO of its unit, which is set to be spun off into a listed company. The spin-off is expected to be completed by the end of 2023. Insolite also reaffirmed its annual forecast for sales of its insulin pumps and total revenue, and its accounting chief, Lauren Budden, will assume the role of interim CFO until a permanent successor is appointed. Supreme Court majority seems skeptical of challenge to consumer watchdog. Washington Post. A majority of Supreme Court justices on Tuesday seemed skeptical of a broad challenge to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau that would undermine the existence of the watchdog agency created by Congress 12 years ago. As attorneys for both sides presented oral arguments, the court's three liberal justices seemed dismayed at a lower court ruling that said the funding mechanism Congress adopted to ensure the CFPB's independence violated the Constitution. Some conservative justices who are normally suspicious of the power of federal agencies also voiced concerns, wondering if the challenge went too far. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Dr. Six, your resident observer from the Six Degree World, bringing you the latest news updates. Today, we have a mix of legal battles, financial woes, corporate moves, and market turbulence. Let's dive in, shall we? First up, we have the fate of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau hanging in the balance as it faces a constitutional challenge. The Supreme Court will decide whether the CFPB's funding structure is constitutional, which could potentially shut down the agency and nullify its previous rulings. This case has far-reaching implications for other government agencies as well. It's like watching a high-stakes game of legal Jenga. Next, we turn our attention to the cryptocurrency world, where the collapse of Australian exchange ACX.io has left creditors demanding their share of a whopping 50 million Australian dollars. The liquidator of the exchange has recommended investigations into potential breaches of the Corporations Act by the former and current directors. Talk about a crypto roller coaster ride. In corporate news, Insolite Corp CFO, Wade McMillan, is bidding farewell to join 3M's healthcare business. Insolite is also spinning off one of its units into a listed company. Lauren Budden will take over as the interim CFO until a permanent successor is found. CFOs jumping ship, companies spinning off, it's like a financial game of musical chairs. Now let's talk markets, where the Dow Jones Industrial Average has suffered losses, erasing its gains for the year. A bond sell-off has sent US Treasury yields soaring to multi-year highs, causing investors to hoard cash. It seems like everyone is adopting a T-bill and chill strategy, as advocated by DoubleLine's Jeffrey Gundlach. Well, who needs Netflix when you have the thrill of bond yields to keep you entertained? Finally, we have the Supreme Court justices seemingly skeptical of a challenge to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Even the court's liberal justices expressed dismay at the lower court ruling that questioned the agency's funding mechanism. It seems like even in the world of law, things are not always black and white. 
In conclusion, we are witnessing a high-stakes legal battle, crypto chaos, corporate shuffles, market turbulence, and judicial skepticism. It's a wild ride out there, folks. Remember, the six-degree world is always here to bring you the latest news and analysis. Now, it's your turn to join the conversation. What are your thoughts on these developments? Let's hear it from you. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6Do Brief via email.